Luke, how's it going? Loud and clear, he says. Good. Loud and clear. All right. So we're good. Ollie says loud and clear. Sweet. Sweet, we're live. We're going live. Going live. Who else is here? We've got 11 now. That's good. It's kicking off a bit. That's a weird question, Pasty. Why'd you ask me that? Have I? No. No. 8 p.m. on the fucking dot. I know, man. One, two, three. How's it going, mate? How's it going? You're in for this one. Yeah. Sorry you missed the start of it yesterday, mate. Don't worry about that, though. Don't worry about that. That's just me moaning about my year. Being all romantic. Deco Duck. How's it going, man? How's it going? How's it going? We've got all the legends, all the lads coming back for this one. No birds still, obviously. Who else is here? 13 watching. Say hello in the chat. We'll get going soon. Past him, having a gallbladder pain when I'm going full gas. Um, <laughs> where's Ambini? I don't know where he is. I, I've not seen him for a couple of days. Go and, someone go and, go, and, go and get Ambini. You'll like this one. We could do with his knowledge as well of aerodynamics in this one. Aerodynamics. Aerodynamics. Dieter. Hello, Dieter. Sup, cunt. Yeah. Who else is here? Who else is here? I'll wait till it gets like 15, 16, then we'll get going. Then we'll get going. Uh, Mitsubishi, how's it going, mate? How's it going? Nice to have you here from the start. We're going to slag off uh, bike parts tonight. Hence, I've got my browser open. We're going to slag off bike parts. And we're going to slag off bike part reviews as well. Because they're all shit, aren't they? Who else is here? 16. Nice. Seb, A. Hey. Tom, we're doing Canyon. Canyon going to get fucking... Canyon are going to get... They're going to get isis tonight, mate. They're going to get fucking done. Yeah, because they are just going to get done. Stem length on those fucking things. Who does that? Let's put a 90 stem on a fucking bike and give you no choice. Ollie. Uh, oils, sorry. <laughs> Why have I been calling you Ollie? Oils. Uh, well, I'm back in Australia soon, aren't I, mate? I'll be back in Australia soon. Don't worry about it. I'll come and fucking cane everyone. I know, I know, yeah, all right, Mitzi, I know you just bought a, a Canyon. Uh, it's the slagging they take will not, will, you'll, you'll appreciate it. Yeah, definitely, man, definitely. Oh, <laughs> Alistair, oh, fuck me, fuck me. An RCC limited edition Canyon, that is the, that's the, that's the pinnacle, isn't it? Uh, yeah. All right, so we're getting there. Have we got 20? Fuck me. Towson Sasser, how's it going? <laughs> fuck me, been a while. How are you, man? How are you? How's it going? How's it going? Just gonna send a quick message to someone. Junaton, hey, how are you, man? Ollie, what was invite only? All right, 22 people, fucking hell, just getting up. All right, message sent, message sent. Oof, can I show that? No, I can't. Ugh. Right, we've got 22 people, right? So, yeah. Oh, God. Canyon RC. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Lunch break. All right, cool, man. All right, so what we're going to do then, uh, yesterday we were talking about my 2017 review, which went well, of course. Uh, and what we're going to do tonight is we're going to have a bit of a group effort to slag things off. Uh, as you know, um, I'm not particularly fond of uh, anything, and I think everything's shit bar a few things, um, especially with bikes and stuff, which I've got a lot of experience of, a lot of experience of braking, a lot of experience of fixing for my mates, and a lot of experience spending money unnecessarily on crap that is sold as good, but it actually turns out to be wank. Uh, a lot of experience as well, as well of people uh, buying something and then instantly saying it's good just because they've bought it, and then that becomes a fucking uh, a, a fact in their little social group and then they spread this misinformation that things are good when actually they're not and they won't have anything said bad against their products that they've bought because they've got buyer's remorse or something. Uh, we're going to get through all that shit and we're going to say what things are actually good in the bike world and what things are shit. Uh, 
and the the bent we're taking tonight is new shit that's come out because I haven't really looked at any bike shit for ages, um, and I'm going to ask you lot to show me. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to ask you lot to show me and to link me to new stuff that's coming out, and I'm going to go through and I'm going to analyze it with my ironic eye. All right, who needs a neck strap on a jersey? I mean, I don't even know what that is. What a neck strap on a jersey. I don't even know what that is, man. You're going to have to link me up. All right, so what we're going to do then, um, first of all, I want all of you, or anyone who can be fucked, just to like post links to shit on like review sites or whatever. And then I'll start looking at them and I'll open, up, I'll open them up in that browser I've got on my other monitor, which you can see on the screen. And then we'll start picking it apart and we'll come to some conclusions. Pashti says, by the way, did you see the new SPT extra light hubs? They fixed the bearing tension nut problem. Have they? Have they? I fucking, I destroyed, destroyed an extra light cyber rear hub. And I had a massive long fucking ball ache with the guy who runs it. Who I'm, I'm, I'm all right with him, but like I had a fucking pain in the ass with the Italian Postal Service getting him back there. Those fucking hubs, man. I, I destroyed it and he refused to bloody believe that I had. And I showed him and I did, I fucking knackered it. I'll get into that later. But if they fix that tension nut problem, that, that means they've admitted that there was a fucking problem, like I said all along. So yeah, fucking, fucking hell. Right. Is it? Oh God, he's an old Bell Staff motorcycle jacket. He's such a fucking knob, that guy, David Miller. Like he puts himself across as some fucking book nerd, cyclist, bloody, wears a shirt buttoned up to the top with no tie with it, kind of prick. I read his book, right? What's it called? Riding Through the Dark. Or something like that. Fucking hell. Racing through the dark, is it? That was like the biggest load of shit ever. Team Cycling a bit. All right, man. How's it going? Can't post web please. Oh, can you not? All right. Uh, fuck me. Well, that's sort of shaz that's shagged it, isn't it? All right, I'll tell you what then. If you want to uh, just tell me stuff to look at, right? He's a plummy mouthed cut. He is, he is, mate. He's a fucking twat. I reckon, he, I reckon he's the reason that in Australia, you think that English people are cunts. It's people like him. So culture shock. How's it going, mate? How's it going? Yeah, I reckon that's it. Fuck me, we've got 27 people. All right, yeah, so just tell me stuff that's come out recently that I won't know, well, I won't have looked at. I'll have a look at it, and we'll look at it together on this uh, on my screen. How's that sound? We'll do that. Yeah, so start. everyone start, like, posting links and shit. Or oh, not links, just like, all right, David. Jersey, CHPT3, jer what is it? Google that shit. All right, all right. We're gonna do we're gonna do a jersey first, which apparently is fucking just cunty. What's it? What is it? Ch. You see how bad I am at typing. G one point two one. It better be that. It better be something. Castelli. What is it? Rapid punch repair kit. All right. Can't post links in the chat. All right. Don't, well, I tell you what. Don't worry about the links then. Just tell me what to Google, and I'll fucking get it. All right. What is it? Lightweight tailored jersey. Oh, this is it. This is it. All right, so the first thing we're looking at is <laughs> already 190 quid. Uh, the first thing we're looking at is uh, this fucking jersey. All right, so we're going we're gonna to take this apart now. Uh, Castelli, right. So this is, oh, got it. All right, I'm already annoyed. I'm already annoyed. Yeah, I'm already fucking annoyed. Look what he calls it, right? This is his... What is it? This is his brand of bikes called Chapter, right? <laughs> Cunt free. How are you, plants? Yeah, you're fucking right. Right? This is his brand of bikes called Chapter, yeah? Look, all right, James, look at how he's fucking spelling it. C-H-P-T-3. C-H-P-T-3, right? Chapter. Fuck me. That's like, that looks like an old fucking ambient drum and bass record label name from the late 90s early noughties yeah what a prick yeah now let's let's have a look at this then oh my god look at this cycling jersey this is the worst thing oh god it's got a fucking what's that like a a pocket for for fucking chewing tobacco or something what a fucking bell end right look at this i'm, I'm getting anxious looking at this right so we're going to start from the sleeve. The sleeve looks all right, yeah? The sleeve looks all right. And we're going to slightly scroll up there. Don't know what that shit is there. It looks shit. It, it already looks baggy, right? A fanny pack pocket. Yeah, it looks, yeah, post, post, yeah, blood bags, yeah. It's got, it looks baggy. That's shit. That shoulder looks shit, right? How's your, ugh, it's not even, what's that? What's that for? Like a fucking, the pacemaker or something? 
unbelievable. That there, that whole area is an absolute travesty. Who wants that? <laughs> Who wants that on a fucking... Who wants that on a cycling jersey? <laughs> Who fucking wants that? Who would want that? I've said it that many times. What the fuck? I know, guys, let's design a jersey and, and add shit to it that makes it annoying. Oh, God, that is fucking crap. And look at the zip. The zip's all metal. That's going to just be shit. I don't love it. I fucking hate it. This is the worst jersey I've ever seen, right? Yeah, let's scroll down then. I mean, it's all baggy there. It's got a fucking whiskey flask pocket. That just looks normal. The side panels look shit. They look like they go in too far. All right. <laughs> Jonathan's right. A fucking, yeah. Ollie, I might like a bit of choking. Have you been spying on me, Ollie? Um, yeah, fucking hell. This is, this is shit. This is shit. In stock for immediate dispatch, it says up here. You can't see that, but it's underneath my video there. Yeah, no wonder it's still in stock for immediate dispatch because nobody's bought the fucking thing because it's absolute gash. All right, let's look at the back. What's going to be on the back? I mean, that looks normal. That looks crap, like it won't fit. Those side panels are too wide unless you're a fat cunt. It just looks like a bit Team Sky-esque, doesn't it? Like they've nicked that sort of like glitchy Team Sky thing that actually did look all right, I reckon. You like it when my face turns blue, do you? What? How do you know this about me? 100, yeah, Dita Carly, 190 fucking quid. 190 quid. What's that in, Auss what's that in Aussie dollars? For all, the, for all of my Australian friends, all right? And I like to think you're my friends. 190 fuck yeah fred fit pasty's right mate it's fred fit it's it's a, it's a fred jersey for freds 190 quid 190 quid let's have a look at that Aussie, that's 330 australian dollars 330 australian dollars uh answer the question rory all right rory void kit yeah it's all right i've wrecked a few bits it's all right it's expensive but it's all right it's quite stylish but it's harder than rafa but it, it still just goes dead yeah, that is fucking bad. Yeah, three hundred and eighty dollars, nearly four hundred dollars. Uh, yeah, nearly four hundred uh, Aussie dollars. That is that's fucked, man. That is fucked for this piece of shit. Who has a a button up bit at the top? And why have they put that in like it's out of focus? Look at this website. He's like fucking bokeh it. You can't even see it when you zoom in. What a dick, All right? I bet they had like. I bet they had fat cunt management meetings outside of a, a local bloody artisan fucking pub in the home counties of the UK. To <laughs> fucking, yeah. Dieter, I think you were supposed to send me that as a private message, weren't you? Although, it, yeah. Uh, th this is fucking shit. All right, so um, we're saying uh, oils 1976. Well done for, for uh, pointing out the first thing here. Um, it's absolutely, absolutely shit. This is, I'm going to say, the worst jersey I've ever seen. And that's before we even get onto the fucking spiel they've done for it. So let, let's read through this bullshit they've written about it. All right. Oi, mate, oils. I, <laughs> the reason I said about that pub thing, I have seen that Coles collective interview. What a bunch of goons. It's like watching, it's like Saxondale's fucking Stang gang, isn't it? Fuck me. How has he gone from being like a, a pro cyclist to being that git? Anyway, right, let's, let's analyse the text then. We're going to read it for you. Uh, I'm going to read it, and every time I'm nearly sick in my mouth, I'm going to stop, obviously, and we're going to slag it off together. All right, you ready? We've given the jersey a more tailored cut. What? We've given the jersey a more tailored cut. If you, if you cut anything, you're tailoring it. What do you mean? It's more ta Fuck off. Darting the front panels and sharpening the shoulder edge doesn't mean anything, mate. Because if it don't fit, you don't fit, does it? A shape more akin to a shirt rather than a t-shirt. Eh? I don't want a shirt or a t-shirt when I'm riding a bike. I want a fucking jersey. The collar's buttoned, giving the jersey a higher and more substantial neck and so making it look sharp and look bespoke. I don't care what it looks like. Tailored for fatties, yeah. I don't care what it fucking looks like. I care if I'm... All I want in a jersey, yeah, is a zip here. So when I'm fucking doing 500 watts up a climb and I'm really sweating like a cunt, I want to be able to like grab it and undo it like that. Right, and then when I get to the top of the hill, when I'm sweating like fuck, and it's then there's snow at the top, and I get cold again. I want to be able to do that quickly and go down the hill. That's what I want in the jersey. Fucking allow it. Right. 
there is a collarbone button to fasten. Eh? They've put another button, have they? Oh, they fucking have. I thought that was just hanging down. That bit there, <laughs> that bit there's an, a button so you can like attach it to your collarbone when you've undone it. Fuck me. Fuck me. That is, that is shit. All right. The center, I'm not even gonna read that. The st a storm flap. It's not like fucking... I'm lost for words here. A storm flap. One, who goes riding in a storm, right? And two, if you do, you're going to get soaked. Why are you bothered about... Oh, fuck me. The, the centre rear pocket is designed to carry a... I'm bored of this. When racing... Racing? Who races in this? When racing, we'd often stuff unwanted clothing up the inside of our jersey, and this is a more refined version of that. Who races in this shit? Mad Dog just says, Mad Dog just says, suck my cock. Um, all right, all right, Mad Dog. Yeah, Ollie, Oil's new lady with storm flaps once. Yeah, all right. Uh, fuck me, this is bad. It feels very fast, faster than most specialized aero jerseys, in fact. Do you know what feels, you know, right, right. Do you know what feels fast? All right, let, let me tell you, let me, get, let, me let, in, let you into a little secret here. What feels fast, right? I'll tell you what feels fast. Going fast. Going fast feels fast, yeah? Going slow feels slow. It doesn't matter what jersey you're wearing. As long as you're not wearing a fucking massive sail behind you. Going fast feels fast, okay? That's the end of it, all right? So I'm going to give this jersey a 0 out of 10 score. It's absolute shit. Um, no one's ever going to wear it. And it's made by cunts for cunts, okay? So there we go. No, buttons are faster. So, sorry, eat plants. Buttons are faster, you're right. All right, then. That's the first piece of shit we've looked at, then. Uh, the next one we're going to look at is, do, does Rafa do a punch repair kit? They better not do. I'm not even going to look at that, because I actually bought some Rafa the other day for someone. Uh, who's in Australia? Who in Australia? I, I'm not in a, I'm just looking at the text. Who in Australia? I don't know. Uh, what's the next thing we're going to look at? Revo via chain performance system auto chain luber. An auto chain luber. Tell me not. Revo, fuck off. Right, we're looking at this then. <laughs> oh, God. Ceramic speed, you're going to get done later. Right. Fake cycling club, yep. Yeah. All right, oh my God. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what the fuck is this? A Flare Revo Via. It's a system that works, but it's very niche and expensive, right? What is it? What is it? It's an automatic chain lubing system. Why? Why do you need to have your con Why do you have to have your chain? It's ballast one of yeah, yeah, exactly. Why do you need to have your chain lubed all the time, constantly? Surely you just like lube your chain, ride your bike, go home, wipe it, wipe your chain clean, right? And then lube your chain again when you need it. Why do you need this fucking thing? 250 quid. 250 quid chain lube. <laughs> How many bottles of lube can you buy? How many bottles of chain lube can you buy for 250 quid? Probably fucking loads, right? 20. Yeah. What a fucking... And it, uh, it uses the via fluid as well, though, so... Fuck me, I can't even bother to go through this. I can't even be bothered to go through this one. This is a joke. And anyone who buys this um, is a child molester. All right, a child molester, okay? The worst kind of molester. Four watts improvement, just fuck off. Yeah, all right. Okay, so that was a load of fucking shit. What's the next thing then? We're not looking at that coal collector thing, mate, because I, I, will, I will probably just have to punch a hole in that wall behind me. It's so annoying. All right. <laughs> uh, so we had to look, we're not looking at the, the puncture repair kit from Rafa, because it's obviously gonna be a load of bollocks, right? Uh, this thing was good. This thing annoyed me a lot. So well done with that. Uh, what are we going to look at next? A Pinarello Nitro. What the fuck's that? Oh, it is, it is a thing. Pinarello Nitro. Oh, God. Do I even want to look at this? Oh, you fucking... You are joking. Oh, <laughs> my God. It's an electric Pinarello. 
<laughs> oh god it changed the way change forever the way you ride what because you'll stop pedaling <laughs> you just sit there riding like a fucking melt it's inspired by the F10 job who cares pa that is fucking fucking shit anybody who buys this right needs to be fucking put in Belson yeah this is fucking dumb. Alan Sugar, yeah, because he's about fucking 90. He's about 90. That's why he fucking is going on about this. Fair enough if you're 90. Jesus. Oh, my God. That is fucking wank. An elect... What? This is the... How much is it? Yeah. How much is it? Where does it say the price? <laughs> Fuck me. Yeah. How much is it? Pinarello Nitro price. Pinarello Nitro price. Bike radar. Got to there. These cunts. See how much they... How much is it? I hate finding prices for shit. Someone tell me how much it is. I don't... Ugh. Why is the price not just at the top? Oh, fuck off. Do you get pop-ups as well? How much is it? How much is it? This piece of shit. Can't be asked to find the info myself. Tell me how much it is, someone. That is fucking shite. Anybody who buys this, anybody, I think, I think e-bikes in general are fucking. The 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 only way an e-bike's acceptable is if you've six grand. That's actually less than I thought it would be. Um, the only way an e-bike, surely it's not six grand. It must be more than that. It must be more than that, right? Anybody who rides an e-bike is, I mean, what the fuck, right? The only way an e-bike is acceptable is if you have got a couple of kids and you need to transport them around at the same time, or if you have some sort of physical disability. Otherwise, what the fuck? This is, oh my God, I'm actually angry at this. I'm actually angry at this. All right, that's fucking ridiculous. That that has beaten the fucking jersey for shitness. All right, what's next? What are we looking at next that we can slag off? That bike was a load of bollocks. Cyclic in Japan. All right, mate. It's been a while. What else we got? What else we got? Super Pista Ultimate Hero Edition. What? Fuck off. A five hundred dollar pump. All right. Super Pista, what? Ultimate. Hero Pump, is it? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Right, okay. Right, fuck me. Pasty, man, you've come up with a fucking one here. Look at this piece of shit. Yeah, look at this piece of shit. That's a pump, yeah? It's a pump. Pumps will do the same thing, yeah? It's a fucking floor. $500 for a pump. <laughs> Why the fuck? Sabermax, all right, mate. I've got 38 people in here. The fuck? Th right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry this live stream is me just going, what the fuck? Why pop-ups, man? Pop-ups on 500. You're not going to make me buy your $500 fucking pump. Look at this. A $500 pump. All right, let's, let's break. After more than 18 months of testing, use and abuse at the top levels of racing. Can anyone... Can anyone tell me what's wrong with this fucking sentence immediately? Immediately, what's wrong with this sentence? Right? After more than 18 months of testing, use and abuse at the top levels of racing... Here's a pump. What's wrong with that? It's a fuck, yeah, it's a handmade artisanal, artisanal pump, mate. Yeah. What the fuck? What is wrong with that sentence? All right. What's wrong with that? We've been using this pump at the top levels of racing. Ooh, come on. What's wrong with that? What is wrong with that? No protein uses it. Yeah, exactly. Right. They all use compressors. And 
use and abuse, right? The only, the only time that stuff gets used and abused is, is, is mid-race, right? Who the fuck is using a pump mid-race? If someone gets a puncture, what do they do in a race? They take the wheel off and they shove another wheel on, right? You're not like pumping it up on the side of the fucking road, yeah? Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous, right? That's fucking bullshit. And why is it called a hido? Fucking no, absolutely shit. It's 15% smaller in all dimensions than the original one. <laughs> So how do they do that then? They just got the uh, they got the SolidWorks file, SolidWorks file, highlighted all of it, pressed S, and dragged their mouse in and just scaled it down by fifteen percent. I went, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, fucking hell, that is shit. That is shit. That's good. All right, who's got another fucking shit one? Piss off, Rory, a nine hundred nine hundred quid road shoe. All right, let's have a look at that then. Mavic, what is it? Commentate pro carbon fucking shoe. Is it? Now, what is it? Shoe. Is this, this is it, right. Okay, we're looking at shoes now. 900 quid shoes. 900 quid shoes. Fuck me, a thousand euros. <laughs> Look at these shoes, yeah? A thousand euros. A thousand euros, and look, oh, oh, lo and behold, right? Lo and fucking behold, they've cut loads of little holes in their shoes, haven't they? Cut loads of little holes, like I do to my shoes now. Cut loads of holes in them, right? They just done a slightly better, more manufactured job of it. Cut loads of holes in it, and now that's the thing to do, right? So they've made it a hard shell with a soft, soft inner shell with holes cut in it in the pressure points, just like I did with my fucking Specialized. It got slagged for, yeah. Now Mavic, their ultimate shoe, they're doing my fucking idea. Fuck me. A thousand euros. That's mental. It is quite nice though. I like that, but a thousand, that's a lot. Right? Manually layered by Chinese virgins. Yeah. Yeah. It's fucking well bad. Look at that. Look at that. That's bollocks. A thousand for that. What's the point? And plus, you know what happens as soon as you, people buy Pinarellos, get them shoes. Yeah, they do. Like, you know what happens, right? Whenever you, uh, put on a pair of fucking road shoes for the first time when you go on your bike, they just get all scratched up like the first 10 rides. They look fucked. It's just, this is madness, isn't it? It's madness. What else they got? I mean, they look all right, but... What the fuck? A grand in euros for that. Oh, it comes to the box. Oh, that's all right then. Yeah. Fucking not. All right. All right, Ian. What are we looking at next then? So we've looked at... Uh, a 500 quid pump. We looked at a 190 quid jersey that's the shittest jersey ever. An e-bike by Pinarello, which is just the biggest load of shit that's ever been invented. And we've looked at some road shoes that have stolen my idea and then said it's all right to do my idea. It looks like a kung fu slipper. <laughs> yeah, it does, mate. Looks like a fucking trans... It looks like Transformers slippers, doesn't it? Stages dual side power meter. Fucking stages. Stages is crap. Stages are fucking crap, right? It is my view on is is what power meters are good. Power two max is all right. I've had one for a couple of years nearly. Uh, you can't race a fucking pump, you dickheads. Mad dog, you are correct. You can't race a pump. No. You can't. Um, yeah, what am I saying? Power meters that are good. Right, stages are fucking wank. Yeah. ASEAN Freds. What's that? Uh, Quark are all right, but they fuck up a lot. Uh, Info crank seems to be all right. Anything that goes on your pedals or anything that sits off the end of the crank is going to be shit because you're going to break it. All right. So in in the chain rings where it needs to be, or crank arm, I reckon. The new Dura Ace one's going to be good, isn't it? Uh, and Pioneer's good. Everything else, bit shit, I reckon. Bit shit. Pain in the ass getting a. Decent BB86, is it? What about the what about the Dura Ace one? Asian Freds, oh yeah. All right. Sorry, Psych in Japan, I, I, I didn't know. I'm, I'm a bit out of the loop of, of, of things at the moment. I've just been hanging around with a woman <laughs> and enjoying every minute of it. Yeah, all right, so what else are we looking at then? So we've looked at, we've looked at so far, this fucking heap of shit jersey, this load of bollocks, this the biggest load of fucking cunt sludge ever made ever. Uh, this pump, which could 
only ever be used to beat somebody to death with who buys it, all right? And this shoe, which is basically nicked my fucking idea, um, probably is a right, but it charges a grand for it, all right? So fuck. What else? What else are we looking at? What else we can look at? Power to Max, yeah, Power to Max is good, mate. You can get Campag, get Campag cranks, or if you've got a cannon, they'll do that. A 3T Pro bike, what's that? Three, I can't even find it. What is it? One by 12. I don't even know what it is. What is it? What is it? Molten speed wax race powder. Carbon fiber tire lever so you can ruin your ear. <laughs> 3D Strada, all right. 3T Strada frame set. What's this shit? <laughs> Fucking hell, that's expensive. That is expensive. What's that? Should we have a look at here? It'll be here, won't it? Is that it? Reinventing the aero road bike from scratch. You're not, are you? Where's Hambini? Oh my God. Right, <clears throat> right. This is going to take some getting through. This is going to take some getting through. Okay, so let's just analyze what we're looking at here. Um, overall, let's just summarize it first. It looks fucking wank. Okay, it looks like someone's made a bike frame that looks normal in Blender or SolidWorks. They've highlighted the back nodes of the 3D model and then let their cat walk across the fucking keyboard and it's just dragged it backwards like a fucking load of shit. They've not looked at it and sent it to manufacture and it come out like that. And now they're having to basically explain away their cat fucking walking across their keyboard um, by claiming it's aerodynamic and it's all good. But actually, it's just a fucking feline mistake. All right, that's what's happened. Right, let's look at this fucking heap. This is a standard looking aero bike with the fucking seat tube close to the wheel right big wow how has that reinvented anything how has this reinvented anything it's just the same as every other fucking thing oh it's got discs is it i mean how does that reinvent it that's not a reinvention is it it's a modification of a design that's not a reinvention reinventing something is starting it absolutely from scratch and throwing out the fucking protocol right it's it's not reinvention it's tuning, slightly tuning a design. Get a grip. Yeah, that tire clearance is fuck. It, right, look at this, yeah? This all looks good on paper, but here's what's going to happen with this. You're going to be belting it down the road on your fucking aero vroom and load of fucking wank, yeah? And then all of a sudden, you're going to go past a building site, yeah? And then a screw is going to get stuck in your tyre, yeah? And then that screw, in less than 0.001 milliseconds... It's going to spin round and it's going to catch the back of this fucking seat stay, seat tube, which is about a millimetre from the tyre. And it's going to rag and score a massive fucking line through that carbon, fucking up your frame. That's what's going to happen. Yeah, it's all right on paper, but now we don't live in the fucking like clean world, do we? Where nothing goes wrong. Yeah, that is fucking stupid. That's what's going to happen. Look at the BB. Yeah. That's shit. I thought like this was the area where like a lot of stress comes through, right? Exact same thing happened to your mate's giant TC. Exactly, man. They don't think about real world use. You need a bit of a gap between this because stuff gets caught in the tire, gets pulled round, and it would just scratch the back of the fucking bike off. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Fucking cunts, right? This looks alright the way they've done that. The way that's kind of like countersunk in there looks alright. But what the fuck? Plus, what's all that cable going into the top of the bike bollocks that still they're still doing? Surely they can sort the route out. This thing's crap. Wide tie optimization. It's not been optimized. There's no room. Fucking. Ugh. And what's this shit? Paradigm. It's not a paradigm shift, is it? You've just taken off a chain ring. Screw it, the brake bridge. Yeah, fuck my, a screw. I had that in my bike as well, right? A screw went into my tyre, threw my tyre into the rim. Luckily, it was like the rim bed, not the fucking, what's it? GCN wanking over one time showing. Uh, who cares? Who doesn't need a small inner ring? Unless you're going on the flat. Who? Uh, fucking hell. Anyway, uh, yeah, so it went through my fucking 
rim, right? And then it went round the back of my Evo, scored a line in the back of the paint. But luckily my Evo has got a gap between the tire and the seat tube. But like the, the brake, my rear brake got like belted a lot of the times as it was going around and I was trying to brake as quick as I could, quick as I can. And all I could hear was this like tink, 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 tink noise as I was slowing down. Fuck, I was well stressed about that. Got off my bike, looked at it like, please don't my frame be just ripped in half. Luckily it weren't, but my, my rear brake was scratched to fuck. So that was just well annoying. Yeah. So, all right, what are we looking at next? This is just absolute, what I'm looking at now is complete bullshit. Anyone who buys this is a fucking melt. A fucking melt. They should make they should make an e-bike version of this and then give one of them jerseys away just so fucking they can just you can identify cunts quickly. All right, what are we looking at next? Uh, oh god, the new Garmin. All right, the new guy. All right, Dieter Kali to the new Garmin. Which new Garmin? The Garmin eight twenty. What are you saying, darling? Are you are you, are you trolling me? Yeah. All right. Canyon in-flight whale-looking motherfucker. All right. Canyon in-flight frame set. Carbon fiber, is it? Let's have a look at this then. Ugh! <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is that shit? Why have they... What's that bit of the back? That's like the opposite of a <laughs> that shit. That's like the opposite of a fucking sloping top tube, isn't it? What is that bit? What is that bit? And why have they done it? It's like they can't decide what site the new oh the new Garmin. All right, all right. Have you been Dieter College? Have you secretly been researching Garmin's? Have you? Because it's odd that you knew about that. Hmm. All right. Uh, what the fuck is this? This is dreadful. This is dreadful. That bit is just the shittest thing ever. All right? I mean, apart from that Pinabello. Cyclocross? Well, I don't care. Just get us... Just... What possible advantage does that have? Just make the fucking thing slope. Good God. That is fucking crap. Oh, <laughs> that is fucking crap. What's the point? What are you going to do there? Like, just... Yeah, that is fucking, that is rubbish. Uh, internet cafe, yeah. What the fuck? Right, we're not even going to get into this. That is, that's just, just too obviously shit. This is obviously rubbish, All right? What are we looking at next? I'm, hang on, I need to get to the bottom of this. Dieter Carly, to answer me either here or via our other medium of communication, what do we mean new Garmin? <laughs> All right. New Garmin, the new Garmin six hundred dollar Garmin. All right, we'll get get to the bottom of this. Get to the bottom of this layer. All right, what are we doing? Ah, oh, right, okay. All right, sorry, darling. All right, new Garmin. Garmin. All right, we're gonna do we're gonna do the Garmin. Where is it? One o three o. All right. That is true, actually. You just post pictures of yourself on Instagram and hashtag it. Yes, that's true. That is true. That is true. And other stuff as well. All right. Uh, let's have a look at this. Do I want to look at this? Can I be asked? Yeah, I will. Right. The way these Garmin's are going, they're just heading to be heading to be iPhones, aren't they? I reckon. Uh, I reckon they should just get to. The, they should just admit it. Right, and just make a fucking app for an iPhone, and then just or they they should make an app for an iPhone and make a fucking mad battery replacement for iPhones and just get on with it. That's my review of this one. It's it's too close to a smartphone to be anything now, isn't it? Yeah, they should just they should just make that. All right. Yeah, my mate has got a Wahoo element. He says it's all right. It's black and white, though, isn't it? Yeah. It brings the pedals closer to your knees when carrying the bike. Uh, that's just too complicated for me to think about. Uh, frame set reminds me of the new... Yeah, that's crap, isn't it? That's crap. I'll tell you what, right? This is this has sort of depressed me, this one. I, I thought this would be more fun, right? But actually, 
looking at all these products and looking at all this crap that's being made, it's just depressed me. Because it just seems like, <laughs> yeah, it just seems like there's no fucking innovation going on. It's just a lot of people, everyone's sort of, we've, we've got there now, haven't we? We've arrived. Like, bikes are all, all right now. And it's just like, they're just making variations on a theme. They're just making variations on a theme and it's just, it's just all depressing now. I'm genuinely, I think I'm, I think I'm heading towards a fucking mental breakdown with this shit. Absolute crap. Nothing, nothing that's been posted has been any good. It's just rubbish. I think I'm gonna, do you know what they should make? They should make uh, nooses. They should make nooses for people. Rafa should make nooses for people who just, who are so fucking over it, right? They're so fucking over it. And they're just so fed up with this, all this fucking bollocks. They just want to buy an, a, a nice boutique artisan noose, tie it around a fucking bridge over some, like, I don't know, Russian overpass. Instagram themselves in black and white, just fucking throw themselves off the, off the bridge and hanging themselves with a Rafa, with a fucking Rafa bloody noose. I mean, I'd buy that. Yeah. I buy that. It is so, Dita, darling, you are fucking right. It's so elitist, isn't it? It's just so elitist. Like, fucking e an e bike Pinarello. Who's going to buy that? Fuck me. A smart noose. Yeah, fucking hell. I think I, I'm now depressed. I've been depressed by all this. Hunter Brothers cycling kit. I don't. Ugh. It's just grim. Hunter Brothers cycling kit. So look at this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How many watts per kilo you ex your neck exerted on the noose? <laughs> yeah. Like speed of body drop. Yeah. In KOM, like the the top of a bridge to the concrete. Yeah. <laughs> Hunter Brothers cycling kit. Oh, this is Australian, isn't it? It's Australian. Yeah. Yeah, fuck me. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Look at the state of that. Look at the state of that. This here, right? This mess is somebody's son. Pajamas for cunts. Ollie, you, oils, you're right, mate. This is somebody's son, all right? Somebody gave birth to this guy. Somebody gave birth to this guy, all right? With the greatest of love and expectations for him throughout their life, all right? They thought, all right, we're gonna have a son. And they just, you know, they dreamed about what was, what was coming for him in the future. When they, they you know, they, they'd have everything worked out for him. They thought, well, you know, we don't know exactly how he's gonna grow up, but we'll try and, we'll try and guide him. Uh, we'll try and educate him properly. We'll, you know, t teach him right from wrong. We'll hope we'll teach him self-respect. We'll teach him to be a good person. Um, hopefully, we'll you know we'll try and be good ourselves. All right. <laughs> he looks like a sliver ripoff. Yeah, yeah. Fucking oh god. And then you know when he was about fifteen, he had a tat his first tattoo on his knee, little X. And then you know his, his mum was like, oh, he, he, and talked to her husband. He, he, what do you think about his tattoo? Think, oh, it's all right. He, he'll probably grow out of it, and like you'll regret it later. And you get it, get it lasered off, can't you? Then he had a few more, and you got that girlfriend who was a bit of a fucking. They, they did the family didn't like her, but they thought again they'll they'll he'll grow out of it. Um, but he just I don't know. He started smoking. And they started getting really worried, and like they used to stay out all night, coming back to fucking like looking like he, he was high. Oh, you know, they were asking the neighbours, like, you know, have you seen him? What's his, what's his name? His name's probably like Dan, I'm going to say. Dan, have you seen Dan? No. And then, like, all of, a, you know, all of a sudden, he got into, like, single-speed bikes, and, you know, he did all that sort of fixy scene stuff. Um, yeah, he did, he did a stint in prison. I don't know what happened to him there, but he, he came out, um, and he had to, he changed his bike seat after he came out of prison. 
um, to a much bigger, softer one. I don't know what was going on in there, but yeah. And then you know, eventually, it, this this is what he's become. And he's only about he's only about thirty two here. He's only about thirty two, but this is what he's this is what he's become. Right? This is this is the lofty heights that he's come. You know, his parents had so much so much you know hope and and and, uh, and dreams for their boy, and then this is what he became. This is what he became. All right. They blame themselves. They you know they they know it's not their fault, um, but you know, really, I mean, it is a reflection on them, isn't it? It's a reflection on them. Yeah, absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. So yeah, um, Hunter Brothers Cycling is fucking shit. This guy's in Australia. If I ever meet him, then well, I'm gonna have a word with him. Yeah, Eyesight Raptor. Is that to do with cycling? Is it? Yeah, facial tattoo. <laughs> Fuck me. Yeah. Again, this is just depressing me. I'm just really, really depressed. Wolf Tooth B Rad System. What's that? Oh my god, what is this? What even is it? What is it? It's just like loads of fucking water bottles. Ugh. What is it? It's just a load of water bottles. Attachments to add loads of water bottles to your bike, is it? What? Gear of the year? What? It's just shit to strap to your bike. Yeah, that's crap. That's crap. You want to put less on your bike. Less is more. Less is, less is more because it's less. Fucking... I, this I'm actually I'm this depressed, right? I'm this depressed by this fucking shit that you're showing me. I'm having to I'm having to now send a message to my girlfriend to get her to say something nice to me to cheer me up. This is how bad I'm feeling. This is fucking awful. <sighs> yeah, right. Yeah. Fucking hell. This is absolutely shite. This is absolutely shite. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Zip wheels. Right, let's have a look at the new zip wheels. What, 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 are those, what are those fucking zip wheels? What are those fucking zip wheels, are they? What are they? What are they called? What are they called, those zip wheels? Someone, someone tell me before I, just before I get this knife. Right, and just slit my own throat live on live on fucking live on the screen, just from from sheer depression of this this horror you're subjecting me to. Zip. What's it called? NSW eight five eight. Is it eight five eight? Yeah. Oh god! Even their fucking thing. Speed weaponry. You're not, you're, not, you're not speed weaponry, it's your own body. Right, simple as that. Fuck me. Radical by design, evolutionary by nature. <laughs> you fucking you cunt. What is that? That's shit. It looks like they've done the spokes up too tight and it's yanked the carbon out on each one. Logan Paul will come up. <laughs> Logan Paul, what up? Yeah. Quite lol though. And uh, I was saying to uh, I was saying to Dita the other day, I've done worse in Japan than he has. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I didn't film it. Right. What the fuck's this? Oh, God, I don't even know where to start. I don't want to start. These hubs look wank. Right. Charles Darwin approved. Yeah. Fucking. It's just someone went. Oh, rims around. What can we do to sell more rims and sell everyone the different? I know. We'll just fucking put a little thing on it that will look shit and will claim it's aerodynamic. Hasn't Hambini like debunked these anyway? He came in and fucking sorted it all out for us, didn't he? And told us it was all shit. Yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah. All right. Well, I can't take much more of this. I think I've had enough. I've had enough for tonight. That didn't go how I wanted it to go. I'm, I'm severely depressed now. And I sort of want to give up riding a bike because, well, it's clearly... If... You have any sort of, yeah. These things are bollocks. If this is the shit that's being aimed at cyclists, then that means that we're cunts, doesn't it? And I don't want to be a cunt.
So I'm, I'm going to give it up against something else. Fuck me. All right, lads and ladies, I'm off. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow night. Hey, actually. Actually, uh, here we go, right? Um, you have to tell me what you want tomorrow. Tell me what you want tomorrow. Uh, in fact, so tomorrow, um, tomorrow, what we're going to do, we're going to do life advice. All right, I'm going to give you loads of life advice tomorrow. We're doing the Dark Installs Hour of Life Advice, which is going to be a list of me just basically lecturing you and shouting at you and telling you how not to be cunts and then uh, telling you, you know, how to live your lives according to my own expert knowledge and experience. All right, and if you veer from it, you're not allowed to be in the cult. All right, simple as that. So there we go. That's what it's going to be tomorrow at Life Advice. Same time, same place. All right. So there we go. See you guys. Teeth. <laughs> Actually, before we go, let's answer. Let's answer Ipposaur's question. Would you rather have teeth as pubes or pubes as teeth? <sighs> pubes as teeth. Because teeth as pubes would, would be too freaky. Pubes as teeth, you could like fashion them into teeth and paint them. There you go. That's my answer. All right. So there you go. All right. Fuck it. I mean, I'm I'm so depressed. I'm actually probably going to kill myself tonight. So hopefully, um, someone's going to talk me off the off the edge. Um, but if not, then it won't be a, a live stream tomorrow. All right. So yeah. There you go. Good night. <laughs>